Hi, this is Jeff Challen. For lab three, we're going to have you create your own IntelliJ project to work on the lab and then push it to GitHub later. So let me walk through how to do that. It's quite simple. I'm going to fire up IntelliJ. The process is identical regardless of whether you're using a Mac or Windows. So I'm just going to do it on my Mac. I select create new project. And then I'm going to have to make some choices. So uh, I want this to be a Java project. So I have Java selected up here. You don't need to select any of these additional libraries and frameworks. Um, the project SDK uh, should be 9.0. That's the one that you've been using for the MPs. I'm going to go on. I can create a project from a template here. This will automatically create an application that includes a main method. Um, in this case, why not do that? Uh, that's handy. That'll sort of fill that in for me. I'm going to call this lab3, since it's uh, lab3. Um, and I'll leave the base package here empty. You can leave this sort of whatever you want. Uh, we're not creating a package at this point. Packages are a way that you can bundle up different parts of um, software together for other people to use. And we're not doing that yet. We're, this is just for our own exploration. So, um, so I've got the location. I have the project name. And hit finish. So when I'm done, open up my tooltips here, uh, you'll see that it's opened up, uh, it's created a project for me, and it's created a single class called main that's inside my source directory. And that's totally fine. Um, this is um, you know, not a problem. Um, the layout that we use for MPs is different, but you don't have to follow that for every project that you do. One thing I do want to do, of course, is turn on check style. So I'm going to go to open up the module settings. And then you can see here, um, I could say use a custom configuration for check style. And I'm going to turn on the, let's use the Google checks for this project. Um, they're a little bit more flexible than the Sun ones. So hit OK. And now I should be, should be ready to go. So I have a main method where I can write some code. This is what's going to be run when the program is executed. So I can put a little bit of code in here and show you what happens when I run this. So it's building my project. And you can see that it printed here. So this is the starting point for lab three, uh, just creating some code uh, for you from a blank template. Uh, that's the starting point for today's lab.